Hello, welcome back to Vivint Tech. In the previous video, I showed a flowchart that describes the set of activities in the pipeline. I have already created a source database and a storage account to place the files in Blom. If you want to learn how to create a database and a storage account, please find the link in the description. To explain the flow of pipeline at a high level perspective, let me show you an image. So first, as you can see in the picture, we will use a lookup activity to retrieve data from a table which contains the metadata such as source table name and the source table schema and also the name of the blob folder that needs to be created before placing the blob file. Let me show you the query that we will be using. This is the query. When we execute it, we are getting three records because as you can see in the object explorer, these are the three tables that we need to copy from SQL database to blob. And this is the metadata table that I have created, which contains the metadata of the source table names and also the folder names that I need to create before placing the blob file. Let's start creating the pipeline. Let's go to the Azure portal. So this is my data factory. And let's click on add pipeline. As I said, first we will create a lookup activity which will retrieve records from a metadata table that contains the details of source table names and their schemas. We can find the lookup activity in the general section of the activities panel, expand general. As you can see here, we have a lookup activity. We can name the pipeline name as copy data. Close this and also we'll name the lookup activity as lookup underscore source underscore SQL. That is fine. Let's go to settings. In settings panel, we need to create a new data set and a linked service to the SQL database in which our metadata table is present. Actually, I don't have a existing linked service or data set to the database. So I will create a new linked service and a data set. Just to let you know, a link service is a connection to data sources and destinations. And a data set is a named view of data that simply points or references the data you want to use in your activities as inputs and outputs. I'll click on add new. Since my source data set will be having SQL data, I'll select SQL. Azure SQL database, click continue and I'll name the data set as source underscore SQL underscore data set. I don't have link service in place. I'll create a, so I'll cre create a new link service. So I'll name link service as underscore link service. That's fine. I'll select my subscription, which is free trial. My server name is Vivin. And my database name is SalesDB. As you can see here, it's SalesDB. And my server name is Vivin. Let's go to the portal. Yeah. So my database is SalesDB. And I'll provide my credential for authenticating, in, authenticating into SQL Server. I will test my connection. If the test connection is successful, yeah, it's successful. So I can go ahead and create the link service. The link service is created. Now I can provide the table name here itself. As I, my link service is connected to the sales TV, it will provide all the list of tables within that database. So my table is metadata lookup. I'll select this. I'll click on OK. So my data set is created. Now I can preview my data. Click on preview data. Oh, I got only one record. 
This is because I have an option named first row only as you can see here. Scroll down. So the first row option is enabled. When we enable this option, it will retrieve only the topmost row present in the table. I'll disable this and I'll preview data once again. I got all the three records. So I'm good with this. Also, you can use the query. For example, if you have a case where you want to copy data for only two tables, let's go to SSMS. You have three tables to be copied. For example, you want to copy only the first two tables. And if you want to leave the third table, you can use the query such as we can provide the where condition where blob underscore location is not equal to let's copy this I think that's fine let's execute this so we got only the first two tables so we'll use this query coming to Azure portal I'll give this query here and when I click on preview data once again I will get only the two records so you can use either table or query based on your requirement also if you have a stored procedure in place then you can also select the stored procedure and give the stored procedure name but I will use the table name to copy all the three tables from source to blog so I'm good with this lookup lookup activity let me debug this once so that uh, we can find out if there is any error here. It is running. Let's refresh this once again. It says it got succeeded. So the input is the source SQL data set that is fine. Let's see the output. As you can see here, whatever the three records that we have in the SQL DB, let's execute this small part. So all these three records are converted into JSON format. As you can see here, the count is three and each and every column is converted into a JSON format. And this output JSON will be fed as input to the next activity, which is the for each activity. So we are good with the lookup activity. So we can find the for each activity under iteration and conditionals. Let's drag and drop the for each activity here. Let's link up these two. Sorry. That is fine. Select the for each activity. And let's give the name for for each activity. Copy underscore for each. That is fine. Now go to the settings panel. As I said earlier, we will give the output of lookup activity as input to for each activity. This is done by giving the activity output as a parameter to items parameter as you can see here this is the items parameter I will give the activity output as input parameter here we can do this by selecting here click on add dynamic content if you can see here the activity output parameter is already provided click on this you will have this activity automatically created dot and we are getting the output of this lookup activity which is a value so dot value click on finish so we are good with the items pro parameter so under activities you have no activities in for each activity so you need to click on edit and inside this you will create the co uh, main copy data activity so you can find the copy data activity in move and transform drag and drop the copy data activity 
we will create the copy data activity in the next video so that it will be clear and understandable more precisely.